reaction comprises of oxidation reduction and hydrolysis these reactions are catalyzed by microsomal enzymes that are located in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of various tissues such as liver kidney lungs and intestine cytochrome p450 constitutes the most important enzyme system that accounts for the metabolism of majority of the drugs Cytochrome P450 combines with carbon monoxide to form a pink color compound which has the ability for maximum absorption at wavelength 450 nanometer therefore it is named as cytochrome P450 Cytochrome P450 is classified into families subfamilies and isoenzymes the family is designated by numbers such as 1 2 3 4 5 Sub family is designated by letters such as A B C D E and isoenzyme is represented by numbers for example cytochrome P 2 D 6 where 2 is the family D is the sub family and 6 is the isoenzyme so, so how does cytochrome P 450 work so cytochrome P 450 combines with the drug substrate in presence of nadph nadph reductase and molecular oxygen to form an oxidized product so cytochrome p450 consists of cytochrome p1 p2 and p3 cytochrome p3a4 is uh, one of the most important enzyme system and accounts for the metabolism of 50% of the xenobiotics so drugs which are metabolized by cytochrome p3a4 are acetaminophen codeine diazepam cyclosporine erythromycin and so on cytochrome p2d6 metabolizes 25 to 30% of the drugs and the drugs which are metabolized by cytochrome p2d6 are codeine debrisoquine and esmetoprolol cytochrome pa1 metabolizes antipsychotic drugs such as clozapine olanzapine haloperidol and uh, other drugs such as theophylline estrogen and so on oxidation reactions include hydroxylation dehydrogenation deamination nos dealkylation and ns oxidation so oxidation reaction involves addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen so in hydroxylation reaction hydroxyl group is formed drugs which undergo hydroxylation are phenytoin propranolol and warfarin in dehydrogenation there is oxidation of alcohol in presence of alcohol dehydrogenase to form acetyl dehyde and acetyl dehyde further undergoes oxidation in presence of aldehyde dehydrogenase to form acetic acid in deamination reaction there is removal of amino group from the drug molecule So here the amino group is removed resulting in the formation of a ketone group. Example amphetamine gets converted to phenyl acetone derivative. Next type of oxidation reaction is NOS dealkylation where there is removal of alkyl group from nitrogen oxygen or sulfur atoms respectively. In N dealkylation there is removal of alkyl group from nitrogen atom. For example morphine gets converted to normorphine amitriptylin gets converted to nortriptylin in oxidealkylation there is removal of alkyl group from oxygen atom for example codeine gets converted to morphine in s dealkylation there is removal of alkyl group from sulfur atom for example 6 methyl thiopurine gets converted to mercaptopurine Next is NS oxidation where oxidation occurs at nitrogen atom or sulfur atom so oxidation of nitrogen atom is known as N oxidation examples of drugs which undergo N oxidation are chlorpheniramine quinidine and dapsin S oxidation involves oxidation of sulfur atom So examples of drugs which undergo S oxidation are cimetidine which gets converted to cimetidine sulfoxide 
and chlorpromazine which gets converted to chlorpromazine sulfoxide. So next we move on to reduction reactions. Reduction reactions are of two types, nitro reduction and keto reduction. In nitro reduction, the nitro group is converted into amino group. Examples of drugs which undergo nitro reduction are chloramphenicol, chloral hydrate and halothane. Keto reduction where keto group is converted into hydroxyl group. For example, cortisone gets converted to hydrocortisone. So next we move on to hydrolysis reaction where water participates in hydrolysis reactions and it breaks down the bond of the compound. This bond can be an ester bond and an amide bond. Enzymes which catalyze breakage of the ester bond are known as esterases and enzymes which catalyze the breakage of amide bonds are amidases. So esterases hydrolyze the ester bond and amidases hydrolyze the amide bond. Examples of drugs that are catalyzed by esterases are hydrolysis of pethidine and lignocaine. And examples of drugs that undergo hydrolysis in presence of amidases are hydrolysis of procaine and procainamide. Next, we move on to non-microsomal oxidations. These are alcohol dehydrogenation, aldehyde dehydrogenation, xanthine oxidation, which is catalyzed by xanthine oxidase, monoamine oxidation. These are my references. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.